trusted friends, but there are still dozens of unanswered questions tonight. The first one being, how could someone so close to Selena allegedly kill her? All of a sudden, after that dark day in Corpus Christi, everybody's wondering, who is this woman? A uh, fan club president kills the star? What's going on here? This doesn't make a lick of sense. The narrative has always been, oh, a crazy fan killed Selena. But it was something a lot more complicated. It really calls to mind a very distinct era of 90s tabloid coverage that was very cruel and unforgiving towards women. And I, you know, I don't think the image makers are interested in nuance or any details, or certainly, you know, the evil woman, the killer, they don't want to humanize her. Yolanda is a confusing person for the media to deal with. An unmarried, you know, in her 30s woman, being friends with a 23-year-old pop star. It's a confusing relationship dynamic for a lot of people to swallow, and it's very easy to sensationalize it into kind of portraying Yolanda as a jealous spinster who wanted to be as close as Look possible to this youthful, beautiful, amazingly talented hey, the woman has the spotlight on her. I never hated anyone in my life, but Yolanda took some, something so precious from us. I hope she's found guilty. I was convicted by public opinion even before my trial started. They have been fed um, uh, a narrative that is not correct, that I was an embezzler, that I was an obsessed fan. My right as a, as a citizen of the United States to be innocent and to prove guilty was reversed on me. I was guilty and needed to prove my, my innocence. <laughs> ready, ready. First of all, that's it. Ready, ready. First response. Ready, ready. First. Parents have to make a lot of decisions. Like, what do you feed baby when your go-to becomes a no? Listen, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. I so far, I think she's full of crap. So far, okay. Uh, second of all, if that hell like checks with your uh, with your signature on it, that's that right there is the red flag. Okay, you don't stole the money, you don't spit the money on a ring that you brought Selena, and then you know what? Also, it's a red flag. She calling, um. Yolanda, she calling Selena family more than one. That right there alone should be telling you that's a red flag. Now, why just let it keep calling, calling, calling us? Okay, in my opinion, the way um, Selena, dad, how he was treated, um, Chris, he should be doing the same thing with Yolanda because you would think you never met the lady before. So why is why you, why she calling us? All this, all this time, you know, I don't get it. So that was the red flag to me while I'm sitting here. Okay, well, but anywho, y'all, child, I noticed also that she keeps saying the same thing. If if this was an accident, okay, if this was the accident, why you didn't call the police? Cause I'm quite sure at the time, back in the '90s, they had this old cell phone. I mean, all phone, telephone, where you could just pick up and call. Like, you know, the room where they have a bootleg phone. You should have called the police. She ain't bothered to do that, y'all. So that, right, that's another another one. Another red flag, okay? So, child, your line is full of crap, y'all. I don't believe her. I don't, I don't, I, I don't believe her at all, y'all.